officially back in Montreal. Just checking out some of the horses at uh, Nonna and Nonna Pontillo's house. That's uh, grandma and grandpa for you. This is back where uh, we used to come and spend the weekends at uh, Nonna and Nonna's little house. Officially on vacation now. I uh, was just going to check in and kind of show you guys what what Montreal was like for me and um, it's uh, extremely humid here. I just took a shower but I feel like I'm still dripping wet from the immense sweat that already started <clears throat> but it's a nice change of pace. Um, so this is Montreal. I didn't get any videos yesterday while we were traveling. It was pretty boring. Uh, airplanes, you know, standbys, custom lines, nothing exciting. But uh, yeah, this is this is definitely one of my favorite parts about coming back here. Just getting to check out all the horses at Grandma and Grandpa's, and you know it's funny you spend uh, so much time away from here. I haven't been here in like three or four years, and <clears throat> it seems like every time I come back, things look smaller. <laughs> I remember this rock right here in front of the lawn. That. That rock used to be monstrous, like just huge to me. And every time I come back, everything looks like it's a little bit smaller. But uh, it's cool. And I'll, uh, I'll try and get some more shots and uh, show you guys around the rest of of uh, Nona and Nonos. We'll take a quick look at the backyard of, of Nonos' pride and joy, his, his vineyard. We'll get to the back here. Well, there it is. The vineyard, the garage. Funny thing about that swing set actually over there in the back in the red. When I uh, when I got here yesterday, I was gonna reminisce and I sat down on it for old time's sake. And I was on that thing for, oh, maybe all of five seconds before one of the chain links on the back of it broke. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely bigger than I used to be. But, uh, yeah, we're just walking through the vineyard right now. Looking at all of Nono's grapes that he makes his wine with. And then his garden that just goes on and on. That was another huge rock that now just seems like nothing to me. But jumping off that as we were kids was always scary. That apple tree is also getting... That's the only thing that looks bigger, actually. <laughs> And then uh, back here in Nono's garage is where you'd always find me tinkering with tools and I always used to try and carve wooden guns out of stuff and wooden knives. Uh, just like a goofy little kid. And then back here is uh, an old Jeep and back there are all the chickens and the rabbits. Took my little brother Daniel the better part of a decade to figure out that those were not pet rabbits, <laughs> but delicious. Uh, we're gonna get going now though, and uh, hopefully I get to show you the uh, the farm, the Picotzi later. I'm sure Nono wants to go. It's his, his favorite place, so uh, yeah. Here's a, a little brief introduction to Montreal, and uh, I'll get this uploaded as soon as I can, and I'll see you soon.